You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. And you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. Colonel of the Warriors of the Six Nations for a while. He's received heard of him. That must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join, or die. Rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to... Electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You mind the excuse for a uniform? Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. Hey! Hold them up! Clear shot!
I'll take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. Okay, so this is the last assassination of part one of Assassin's Creed Rogue before the big twist. And let's just say that out of the three we got, two were pretty much phoning it in. Ubisoft seemed to just give up after Lawrence Washington and stop, you know, thinking, trying, trying to make anything unique. And ultimately we get these slipshod set pieces that are cobbled together out of the thing that you could think up in three minutes. For this assassination, Shay is hot on the trail of the Precursor box, now getting the Precursor manuscript from Samuel Smith, who we already killed. The Precursor box is going to be delivered to a, temp a prominent Templar and being given back to Ben Franklin, who is going to electrify it in hopes of opening it and revealing its secrets. Unfortunately, the Precursor box is indeposed thanks to the idiocy of the prominent Templar's British contacts. They have lost the Precursor box, and now Shay has his opportunity to go find it before it gets back to Ben Franklin. In order to do that, he has to catch up with a man named James Wardrop, who actually has the Precursor box, because he is currently leading the British, who are supposed to be giving it to the prominent Templar, who really wants it. Unfortunately for us, that means that Shay has to infiltrate a 
military base, and those always go so incredibly badly. Mostly because military bases are obvious fortifications, they're hard to get into. So Ubisoft has to contrive ways to get inside. This time apparently there is a bunch of stupid scaffolding on the side of the fort that allows Shay to get in. And while this isn't the most egregious example, the problem with these military bases is that you have to stealth it up where there are constantly patrolling people in tight spaces. It is very hard to pick your moments when you have to rush out in between hiding places. And trying to find James Wardrop is about as fun as that would sound. And even after all of the annoyance, all of the frickin' around, and all of the trying to avoid guards as best as I can inside of glitched out bushes, it turns out that James Wardrop was actually at the entrance to the military base and he booked it because trying to maintain stealth in the military base is pretty much as hard as trying to find James Wardrop while also being stealthy because Ubisoft games have horrible stealth. You can't fuck them up because they always demand that you do it right all the way, otherwise there's freaking consequences. Like James Wardrop books it through town and you have to chase him down and kill him with a tackle because that's always a freaking invigorating experience right there. It wouldn't be so bad if, you know, Ubisoft would take the time to write these assassination targets as anything interesting or just put them in the story at all. These guys are basically just Templar cardboard cutouts that Ubisoft says to go do just because it's part of the story that we're expecting. It's not for the story being good, or being a story that should be told, it's just an obligation to it. Because Ubisoft games make these obligatory set pieces on the promise that later on you'll be seeing something awesome, and then the thing that they promised was awesome turns out to be average, good, but not even great. So it's always a letdown, and it's just a freaking... It's just boulder rolling downhill. I mean, we're not going to be getting any better here, and having us deal with James Wardrop's bullshit is not making this any better. In the first assassination of the game, you showed some actual promise, Ubisoft, and now you're just throwing everything out the window and telling us to deal with generic set pieces that we've seen another 12 times in the series as it stands. You can come up with another idea besides going through a military base again. I mean, for the love of crap. Get your crap together, Ubisoft. 